Hello all of you, welcome to the rebooted version of the contestant battle. If you're wondering why I decided to reboot this series instead of continuing character fever from where I left it, it is because I feel like I could have done a bit better with character fever than what I actually did, and despite the small cast, it still didn't do as well compared to season 2. Now I know a lot of you would say that it did just fine, but this is just my personal opinion on how I feel about the show. Besides, rebooting this show gives me an opportunity to help regrow my love for Go Animate ever since I first disappeared from the platform back in 2018. But with that said, let's get on to the rules of the game. We have a total of 32 contestants that'll be competing in this game, which is only two more than the contestant battle season 2's 30 contestants. And out of the 32 contestants, 17 of them are from the contestant battle season 1, 7 of them are from the contestant battle season 2, and 8 of them are our brand new contestants. Out of the 17 original contestants, these guys are the ones that'll be competing, if you don't know their names, their names in alphabetical order are, Aaron, Ashley, Brandon, Brian, David, Divey On. Eric, Evil Erica, Isaiah, Ivy, Jessica, Kate, Kimberly, Levi, PC Guy, Priscilla, and Warren. And out of the season 2 contestants, these guys will be competing, again, if you don't know their names, their names in alphabetical order are, Amber, Caillou, Heather, Juan, Julie, Rosie, and Thomas. And finally, these are the 8 new contestants that'll be competing as well. Their names in alphabetical order are Brianna, Dora, Ericina, Erica, Garrick, Keith, Zach, and Zara. These contestants will be competing in various challenges, whether it'll be physically, mentally, or anything else in between. We will put them into two teams of 16. Each episode, the team that does the best will win the challenge and the losing team will be up for elimination. And as for the elimination, we will be reusing the like and dislike voting system from season 2. Meaning that whoever gets the most likes will get a prize, and whoever gets the most dislikes will be eliminated. And once there are only 20 contestants left, the teams will merge and everyone left will be competing individually, this process will repeat until there's only one person left. And unlike the original contestant battle, this will have a final 3 finale instead of a final 2 finale. And instead of only the winner receiving a prize, all 3 finalists will receive a prize. The person that gets 3rd place will receive $250,000. The person in 2nd place will receive $500,000. And the winner will receive a total of $1,000,000. And also, the three people that do the best in each challenge will receive tokens. And finally, the people on the losing team that do the best will receive immunity from elimination. And with that said, 32 contestants, 1 million dollars. This is the contestant battle, rebooted. So on this screen I've broke you guys into two teams. Everyone on the left is on the great gangsters, and everyone on the right is on the evil demons. Hold up, why is our team called the evil demons when almost no one of our team is evil? I know right, it doesn't make much sense to give our team a name like that. 
The reason why our team is called that is because I told Donovan to give our team that name when he was deciding the teams. Evil Erica, why did you do that? It's because it's fun to mess with a bunch of waste of specimens like you guys. Wow, over five years later and you still act like such an entitled- Hey hey hey, enough with the arguing, now it's time to start the first challenge. The first challenge is to stand on a platform surrounded over water. Wait, didn't you also use that as a first challenge in season 2? Yes Jessica, but I decided to use it here since it's an easy challenge to do. Oh okay. Anyways, all you have to do is stand on the platform as long as you can without falling into the water. If you fall into the water, you're out of the challenge. Any method of knocking the player off the platform is allowed. The top three players will receive tokens, and whoever stays on the longest wins the challenge for their team. And lastly, the three players on the losing team that stays on the longest will receive immunity from elimination. And with all that said, let's get started. Wow, what the heck? Um, evil Erica, why are you looking at us like that? Get out of my face you curly hair freak. What? I said, get out of my face you stupid oh, waste friend. of specimens. Say PC guy, how have you been doing these past couple of years? I've actually been pretty good. How have you been? I've been alright. It's actually nice to be back here after I got eliminated early Look out. from- Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you idiots deserve. Hey, why did you make them fall off like that? It's because I can, and since you're goody two shoes behind decided to ask me. Ooh. Ah, that evil Erica is really getting on my nerves. I wish there was some way we can get rid of her. Oh, I know what to do. Hey, you. Um, are you talking to me? Yes, I need you to help me out with something. Alright, what is that? Oh, just this. Now is this little twerp's turn next. What? Hey, what's that noise? Wait, did I just hear that someone was trying to push me off? Well whatever, I'll just turn around and continue doing what I was doing. Yes. I can't believe it actually worked. Well, now that I have done that, there's no point in me staying up here much longer. Hey loser. Oh great. What do you want now, Heath? I wanna say how funny it's gonna be messing you with now that both of us are in this competition. And I will make sure that I will make it farther than you in the competition. Oh please. I'll be the one who will make it farther than you in this competition. Oh, we'll see about that. Whoa. Ha ha ha. Enjoy swimming your way back to shore, loser. You know you never stood a chance against me. That's what you get for knocking my friend off like that. Hey, Erica. How do you think of the game so far? Well, actually, I can't exactly say much since we've only just gotten started. But I will say that it isn't too bad. Yeah, I know I wanted you to join the game in the past, but that was because I thought that it would be a nice experience for us to compete together. I understand that. And honestly, I'm glad that I decided to join the game now since it felt like a better opportunity than ever. Well, I'm glad that you decided to join the game as well. Erasina, why did you do that? I'm sorry, it was too hard to read just doing that. Besides, Eric is a total fan. He never stood a chance of winning anyway. You better take back what you said about my brother. Oh, and what if I don't? You know, it's been over three minutes since the challenge started and I've done absolutely nothing. What should I do to cure my boredom? But wait, of course, I know what to do. Hey Rosie, want to be pushed off next? You know. 
that's not exactly what I had in mind. But at least now there is less than half of the contestants left in the challenge. You know something one, it's funny how we reached the top half in this challenge and we didn't do anything. Yeah, and if we keep this up, there's a chance we could actually win the challenge for our teams. What the? Where did the cannonball come from? Is that a cannon shooting at us? Yeah, we need to get away from them. Ah! Wait, what is even happening? No, 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 no. Jess, how are we supposed to survive that cannon? I don't know, Jules. This got a lot more intense than I imagined. What do you think, Heather? Heather, where are you? Oh no, Jules. You know, because of the current mayhem that's going on, there's now only six people left in the challenge. And out of those six people, the only person that's worth winning this challenge is me. Isaiah, why are you just standing over here? I figured standing over here would be the best decision to make instead of trying to get anyone or myself out. You mean to tell me you have been standing here doing nothing this entire challenge? Yeah, as you can tell, this method worked very well. Don't you agree? Are you kidding me? The only reason this plan is even working because of pure luck. This is the stupidest idea that I have ever- Davion, are you okay? Wow, nearly everybody has been knocked off the platform. Now only me and Jessica remain. But how am I supposed to be able to win especially since all the cannonballs are still shooting at us? Oh wait, I got an idea. I will not her off the platform while she is distracted. Oh, hey Zach, can't really talk to you right now. I'm too busy focusing on avoiding these cannonballs. I know, I'm busy focusing on dodging those cannonballs too. But I have to ask you something. What is it? Well, I, duh. Holy crap, watch out for that giant cannonball. Wait, where? Woohoo. Yes, I did it. I won the challenge for my team. Congratulations, Zack, for being the last one left on the platform. Your team, the Evil Demons, wins the challenge and is safe from elimination this episode. Wait, where did you come from? And also, where on earth did those cannons even come from? Oh, there was a hidden rule in the challenge where once half of the contestants were left on the platform, those cannons will appear to start shooting at all of you. It was made specifically to make this challenge go by faster since a cast of 32 contestants could take a while to complete. Well thanks for causing us a lot of panic because we all thought those cannonballs were gonna kill us. Well it wasn't my intention to make you guys freak out, I just wanted to change things up with a basic challenge like this. Anyways, Zack, for winning the challenge for your team, you get an immunity token. Bye sweet. And for placing second and third respectively, Jessica and Isaiah both receive win and revenge tokens. Ah oh, sweet. And lastly, Jessica, since you, David, and Diveon were the last ones standing on your team, you guys will receive immunity from elimination. Wow, that's awesome to hear. Hey Davion, did you hear that? Both of us and Jessica get immunity from elimination since we were the last ones left on our team. Awesome. I'm glad that we did well enough so we don't have to worry about being voted off. And since Jessica, David, and Divey on one immunity, everyone else on the Great Gangsters are up for elimination. Vote for any of the members from the Great Gangsters that you think should win a prize, or to be eliminated. Voting ends 120 hours or 5 days after this video's release. 
And with that said, thank you for watching the first episode of the Contestant Battle Rebooted, make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for future episodes, goodbye everyone and I'll see you in the next episode.